Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I hope you all are having an amazing week so far. Um, I'm doing pretty good, and today we are going to be starting a new game on Wednesdays. Uh, n well, technically a new series, a uh, new franchise even. Um, <clears throat> we are going to be beginning to play uh, Spyro the Dragon, specifically the reignited trilogy that came out semi recently on steam uh i currently don't have it open as you can see right here because i was dealing with some settings and stuff and i just you know haven't opened it yet so you know but anyway before we get properly started um Hold, please. There we go. All right. Sorry, I had to check. I, I was worried that it wasn't going to show up, but there it is. All right. <clears throat> uh, before we get properly started, just want to quickly remind you, I have a Patreon. If you go to said Patreon link of patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, that is a place where you can support me and help me continue to make content like this. If you so choose. And if not, that's okay. I won't hold it against you. I promise. Anyway, let's get back. Let's, let's, I'm excited. I'm excited because I have not yet played Spyro the Dragon. Um, I desperately wanted to play them back in the day. But due to reasons, mostly financial, by the time I got a PlayStation, uh, the place, by the time I got the PlayStation uh they'd are the third game was already out and they were the games were so popular that they were not in any of like the used bins or whatever and so we couldn't afford them and so you know it just never it never got to me basically um but now here we are yay i'm excited um so all i really know is that apparently i elijah wood is the voice of Spyro in this. Um, beyond that, I know very, very little about these games or the lore. So I'm excited to learn. Yes. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go ahead and... Uh, all right, check out full screen. Yep, unlimited, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, that looks fine to me. All right, left. Wazzed, good. Jump, okay. Charge with left shift or right click. Fire attack with left click. Okay, free look is F or left control. Free look is also head bash and hover. Okay. Uh, guidebook is tab. Point to treasure is P. Roll left. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I have my controller right here. Oh, is it? Was it? Or did I just bump the mouse? I wanted to try to play this with controller, but I don't think it's going to let me. Uh, which I guess is okay. You have the dragon, repose rage. Oh, Spyro the dragon. On to the first one we shall go. In the world of dragon. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. 
Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat? Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? Damn. That does it! Damn! <laughs> oh. 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 Huh? Looks like I've got some things to do. <laughs> Damn. The adventure begin. Okay. Now, let me. No, it won't. Okay. Hold please. Let me try something. I might have to restart the game for this. Because I really want to do this on controller if I can. Okay. Let's start. Let's select microphone. <laughs> Set it to none. Uh, sorry, this is so riveting. Me on a pause screen messing with uh, settings. Okay. Now let's see if I have to restart the game. I do not! Yay! Okay. Alright, I am going to quit game, however. So I want to make sure that I actually picked the right game. I did. Okay. Yeah, no, damn, they really did, uh... They really did nasty, nasty, uh, nasty knock or whatever his name is, um, a bit dirty with that. Where are the maps off? Anyway. Uh, nope, not volume. Controls, that's what I'm looking for. Uh. Okay, or... Oh, I see! I want the reignited. Um... Camera, that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna passive, active, no. Um, let's see what map being on looks like. Ah! Oh! That does help a little bit. Hey, fella. I'll take that. I'm 
try- I wish I could turn down the sensitivity on the camera stick. Um... Mouth sensitivity? I guess that might be it, I guess. No, that's still really sensitive. But it is better, I guess. Oh. Where'd the other guy go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Go, go. There you are. I really do need to hold on. What is it that's exactly bothering me with this? Is it that up is up and down is down? Do I need to invert them maybe? Camera. Invert Y. Oh my god, that's so cute. The yawn was adorable. Um also, let's try dropping this down to, like, one. Nope, that sensitivity is just really locked into high. I bet, I bet, if I... Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Alright, it's fine. This is fine. Alright. Alright. I wonder what... Ha what ca active camera looks like. Also, this is the now the, now the yeah, invert is absolutely bothering me. Turn that map off because I I'm not even using it if I'm honest. Uh, map off. Okay. Get out of the water. Um, actually, I'm gonna try something kind of stupid here. Like, and I know I know it's stupid. <laughs> Okay. No, I don't hate that. Oh, stand, stand on the water. Um. Yeah. No. I I like having the on the full camera behind. Okay. I like have. Oops. back here. I love how he charges. It's kind of great. So if I remember correctly, the fi the dragonfly is my indicator of health. Skill point acquired. All right, let's go talk. Let's do the thing that this game wants me to do, 
and talk to the first dragon statue. Enough of me running around getting used to the controls. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. Okay. What about nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, not Tinkerbell. Hi, Spyro. Off brand Tinkerbell. Tricky platform. Town Square. Okay. Wait, a button. It's the sunny flight. Oh, cool. Okay. Damn. Why are you telling me to talk? Rescue Dilbin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Yeah, he's my... my help. Hi, Spyro. Yeah, I know that now that I think about it. I didn't like I didn't connect A to B to C to D to D to D. The way they turn fucking <laughs> Oh the poor sheepers. Sheepy sheepies. Sheepy 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 sheepies. I assume that flaming slash I, fl I assume messing with the dragon uh, the dragon the sheep gets me help. August. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, of you not. must complete one of the other artisan lands. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm on board. So there's Stone Hill, Sunny, what you call it? All right, there's the door. I know that 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 this over here helps me push the right button. This over here takes me to the balloon balloonist or whatever they call them. Oops. But I don't to push it either. Where did this go? Oh, hello. 
Tomas. Hey, Spyro. Like a Tomas. Press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. Come back here. You delicious gem. I wanted that delicious gem meat. Nom nom nom. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. I think this is the tutorial land. What do you think? Alright, All right, so that's free look. That's charge, roll, roll, fire. Triangle is talk. Jump and glide. Also fire and that. This takes me to that. That takes me to that. Okay. Teleportation! Town Square! Hello! Invisible. Alright. Alright, next. Next. Alright, there's that gem there. So there's a new plate. There's a new area up there. There's one in the main section. Have I gotten all four dragons? I have. I have six more gems in the main area to get. I think I might know where they are. A button. Alright, so one of the first things I'm gonna try is. Oh, come on, let me. Come on, let me. Let me. Let me, let me. Can I headbutt the trees? I can, but nothing seems to come out of them. Okay. If I just do this enough, it'll break the doors, right? No, I probably need to get all the gems before I can do that. Okay. Alright, where are the... Right, so I have been been over there. I've been over there. I've not gotten there yet. I've not gotten there. I have not been in there. Only getting a life was that easy. Hey, 100 gemos. Let's go. Alright. The Dark Hollow. Alright. So we can now move on. But fast. Fast, fast, fast. Now that I have all the gems, can I do something to this? No? What? No? No? Okay, fine. Alright. Well. Make sure we're topped up in health. You poor thing. Why don't I just keep... Poor thing. Alright. Onwards we go, the words.
word. Okay. Now what? There we go. Oh, I remember this. Not from playing, like... I remember this from, um... Oh, God. They had, uh... So... I don't know if they still have them, because it's been a while since I've looked. But, like... They used to have... Um... Back in the day... You, you could, uh, they had consoles set up in like Walmart or Toys R Us or wherever and you could just try them out, try out various different games and stuff. Um, and, uh, what did the guidebook say I had to do about Stonehill? Good points. Burn the hidden pink tulip. I have to find the hidden pink tulip and burn it. Anyway, um, but yeah, they have the they had these uh, consoles that they would have on display that you could try different games on, and the, back in the day they had uh, Spyro as one of them that you could try when Spyro was first coming out, and uh, I remember occasionally playing it while uh, it was available. And, um, I remember getting absolutely owned by, that was Gandalf saying, you shall not pass. Anyway, uh, I remember getting absolutely owned by these rams because I could not for the life of me figure out how to do the charge headbutt thing. You shall not pass. in here. Oh. Rescue Gildas. Gildas. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. What's the action button? Oh, is it... Which of these buttons is technically the action button? Ah, it's charge button. Got it. Alright. Hi, lady. Now, the question is... Hmm. Oops. The way they little sprouts. something up there. I'm gonna try something. Hold on just a second. Pause, please. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> I 
did look like there was something up there. No, there's not anything up there. Okay, fine. Back we go. Hold on just a second. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. No, never. Definitely not. So she's saving my progress. Got it. Not that I ever run into problems. No, never. That doesn't sound like me at all. Put that here. Oh, -ho! oh. Oh, I didn't want to go back down yet. Or up yet. I didn't want to go back up yet. Yeah. Where? There. Gavin. All right, Gavin, what you got for me? Ooh, Watch okay. the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. Okay, but you could have told me how to open one of these, my guy. and one more dragon looks like all right i need to remember about that chest because i i want to know i want to know can you show me i want to know wow i'm living up all the time Living up? It's not leveling up. That'll take me home. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! I missed his name. Hi, Spyro. Astor! After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! All right, I gotta find that pink tulip. All right. Where, where is the pink tulip? Where, where could it be? Do, 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 do. 
How surely it would be here. Pink flower. Pink flower. Bum ba dum bum 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 bum. They thought they were clever. They thought they were clever. They thought they were clever. Ah, yeah. Oh, ooh. Ah, it's a key. It's a key sitch. I bet I can now get into that chest. That is a, it's a key situation. They thought they were clever. They didn't count on my brain. No! Okay, fine. Alright. I'm not done in there. load there we go all right now that fuck off Do I have to go there and then come back? Yeah, I bet I do. Alright. I didn't want to do that. I wonder... Ah, I can. Okay. I see. Get up. 
Come on, get up there. There you go. Ah. Almost. Ah. Oh, I know what I have to do. Oh, fuck. No, don't fall. Alright, fine. Fine. Go around and get the gems. Actually, I need to get this key. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, that's a wow. get off the geometry. This way is the. Can I burn the? Can I burn the banners? No. All right. That way is that way. Okay. And so this way is the way I want to go. I wanna know. Can you show me? I wanna know. Okay, right there. So charge, jump, glide. Land. They've now got me paranoid looking all over the edges of this place being like, mm, I see you. I see you game. You know? Alright, so we've been here. Alright. I hear you. There you are, bitch. Come here. Come here, you bitch. Bitch. Come here, bitch. Oh, I'm so close. I can taste this ass! Yeah! Oh, I found an invisible wall. Oh, that's clever. Still have not yet found the hidden tulip. The hidden pink tulip. I'm testing the boundaries. Don't mind me. Jamie testing boundaries? Never. It's not like him at all. I, hold on, can I like launch myself on up and over this thing? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. Pink 
Turn home spot. This is not what I want. Want to ban a tulip. You know? I'm still missing two gems. Oh, hey, look, two gems. There are 300 gems. Oh, I have 300 gems, right? Into the water I go. Yeah, so I'd like to retry. Okay, so I really can't use that button at all. Because it will just drop me out of the sky. Okay. Ah. 
Hi, fuckers. Glad you could make it. Thanks for dropping in. And yes, Viro. First time playing it. How are you doing? Did you have a good day today? You said uh, yesterday that you were that you took today off. There are eight chests, eight arches. Okay. Woke, at, woke up at six. Yeah, fair. But yeah, it's very much one of those things of like, oh, damn. It's very much one of those things of, um, you've trained your body to do so much, you know? That got away from me quick. Oh, I missed. That was bad. Oh boy.
How am I missing a plane still? so good i've clear completely cleared two levels um i just you know never played this game before so I'm, i have no idea on the strategies of things and my perfectionism says no we must we must get all the things How to go faster when flying. I don't know if there's a thing. Okay. You. Oh, damn. Okay, that, that just didn't go well. Options. Controls. Yeah, they don't tell me. So how are you doing other than, you know, having the day off and having and just and having to get up early? Looks like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yep. Nerd through and through. Thank you, dragons to wise and god. Alright, come on. Ah, okay. Come here. Come here. That's water. I appreciate that you, that I look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> right, we're gonna get these dang gates out of the way. My friend the queen in discord messaging uh and yes i did i did decide to use both names that you came up with my friend queen uh you are you are quite quite smart and quite intelligent and so of course i would take your advice <laughs> uh, out of home today cool nice nice yeah I will say that McDonald's breakfast does heavily depend on uh, individuals uh, on who's working which days and which shifts usually 
Some people make them good, some people make them bad. Egg was running. E. Sounds like the person uh, who made it wasn't. It probably didn't usually work breakfast shifts. Ooh, that was almost bad. And that was water. Okay. She had more fire range, fire range. Okay. I have to catch that. Oh god. Dang it. I have to catch that, uh train on the rebound. Hopefully the timing works out. Don't hit the water. Nice. Very nice. Uh yeah, I missed it on the PlayStation 1 back in the day. Uh so I'm I'm really excited to be able to actually uh you know get to play it for the first time. Yeah, I I was I feel like I was really close that time. Oh well. All right. Try you. Apologize to Elijah Wood in absentia for all the headaches I'm giving him as I slam his face into uh, everything. Nope. Nope. Come here. Not feeling it. So many obstacles, absolutely. Let's go. One, two more train. Uh, not train. Uh, planes. All right. So trains are done. Come here. Come here. Woohoo! 
Oh, that's cool. Good to know that he does barrel rolls and stuff. Wasting my flying time! gates. One more gate. Oh, that was right at the mark. Dang. Dang. Oh, if I hadn't accidentally been pushing those uh, barrel roll, aileron roll uh, buttons. Ah, okay. I think I know how to speed him up though. It's like he actually has gliding physics or something. Train! Well, I got it. Come here. Train. Oh, right into the water. <sighs> I'm starting to see the code of the Matrix. Trains are done. Planes, come here. Damn, I missed. Come on. Ooh, Ooh that was almost bad. Come here. Okay. No, missed. Damn. Okay. I am so not getting it this time. Come here. Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> the white rabbit to the purple dragon. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm seeing the code. He's doing it. Through the thing, there we go. All right, train. Hey, train. Come on. One more. One more. Yes. Oh, I missed the train. One more train cart, which is right here. Yes! Oh, careful there. Spyro, don't get stuck on the geometry. <laughs> Dude, for kids!
Oh, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> the primal victory screech of victory! <laughs> uh, on, in my Discord messages, my friend the Queen says, That reminded me of the Legend of Zelda scream. Yeah! 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 All right. <laughs> oh, my favorite thing about Spyro ever. Frying the sheep, making them go naked and then stand there all embarrassed. Grass looks so soft. Take a nap in it, minus bugs. Absolutely. Well, with all the dragons around, not many bugs. They're all the bugs are busy following dragons around to tell them how their health is doing. <laughs> So I freed all the dragons. Um, I freed all the dragons. Or at least I freed ten dragons, I guess. Maybe all. I don't know. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. All right, what's in here? Dark Hollow. <laughs> oh, it's not a flying one. Okay, good. All right. So, looking at my guidebook we have three dragons and a hundred gems to get okay oh what is my uh skill point is there not one here artisan stonehill i'm in where am i again dark hollow Four? So cute. I got him as he turned around. Lol. Yeah, they really struck gold with this uh with this game. saw way too much of that ogre thing. I 
saw way too much of that ogre thing, and I now know that it's a Ken doll. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> Could have colored it differently to make it look like underwear. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Dorgan! Oswin. Psst. Spyro. Want to know a secret? Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Action button when I want to zoom in and look around, huh? Let's try this again, shall we? Ooh. Okay, good to know that there's gonna be a metal chest somewhere. But we've got the key! We've got the key! Alright, now, how get back up? Here, get back up. Okay. I'm, I just caught myself not using that map again, so I'm just going to turn it off. <coughs> Borg! Bug legs. Yum. Oh, you didn't notice the firefly before? Yeah, he's who it tells me. Oh, it tells me my health. How many hits I can take. He also helps me by picking up all the gems and stuff. Alrighty. Ow! Rude ass. Okay, you know what? You guys, you guys keep hiding behind your shields. I'm just gonna. There. How long has it been there? Since the beginning! <laughs> oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Thank you. I've already figured that all out, my friend. All right. <laughs> What's in here? I do not recall. Oh, this was my starting spot. Okay. <laughs> Bork! But yeah, he... Basically, every time I kill, like, a sheep or a, a frog or anything that didn't already drop a gem, they release a butterfly. A butterfly that is then eaten and snapped up and eaten by the dragonfly that follows me around. And then that dragonfly is powered up um and once they're at maximum power then the and then the uh dots around the spyro up in the top corner start to fill out and then once i get those maxed out i get a life it's actually a pretty clever like system you know all right fellas Unnecessarily complicated, but it's also like fun complicated, you know? Oh, there's one of those little shell fuckers. Alright, well, rephrasing. 
not shell fuckers. Little, little fuckers in a shell. <laughs> shell. Shell fuckers are something else entirely. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Hi, man. <laughs> he had a little bucket on his head. Oh. Posted four glades. Oh, damn. Automod! Automod, you know better than that. I swear all the time. <laughs> I don't even. The thing is, I don't even have Automod on. <laughs> Not really. Uh, oh, well. You're fine. You're very fine. It's not your fault. It's just auto mod being silly. Darius. Big enemy. He like looks this like a Darius. North, the clock cannot be charged, but a quick flame that should defeat them. You are absolutely fine. Again, uh, it's 100% auto mod's fault because auto mod is ridiculous. And for whatever reason, it has determined that it doesn't want to listen to me when I say that certain words are okay. You know? I swear so often, and I specifically have my stream set to, uh... Set to, uh, like... A like, appropriate age stuff. So, like... <laughs> it's, it's just, it's silly is all. I turned it on once a while ago and haven't sent that and then turned it off and it's like, no, I exist forever now. All right, so that's 100 gems. I have all three dragons. All right, let me turn on the... Let me go to the guidebook. No, no, not the guidebook. Skill points, that's what I'm looking for. All right. This isn't this town square. This isn't peacekeepers. This isn't Dr. Shemp. This isn't... High Caves, this is not Blowhard, this is not Terrace Village, this is not Metalhead, this is not Dreamweavers, this is not Haunted Towers, this is not Lofty Castle, this is not Jacques, and this is not Nasty Nort. Um, okay. Well. <laughs> Don't worry, I got your back. Between the two of us, surely we can defeat Automod. All right, let me turn that map back on. Oops. Hey, that works. Wasn't what I intended to do, but it works. Uh, okay, so I've been up there. I've been around here. Have I been around here? Yes, because this is where I fought those guys with the metal in front of them. Okay, and that took me to here. Yep, 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 yep. We are all done here, y'all. Spyro is leading us. Battle strategies by Lara Croft. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Hi, fellas. Bye, fellas. Um. Alrighty. So. Oh, hi. Breath. Come here.
Town Square. Here we go, y'all. Um, how long do I think I sh I'll stream? I usually try to end around 10 Central Time. So about another hour and a half-ish, give or take. Um, I usually try to start around 7 Central. Um ish again because it all depends on you know what i've got going on leading up to it um but then i'd usually try to end around 10 ish as well um Christian! how how rude how down how downright rude would it have been if they just straight up turned into like fried chickens when you toasted them that would have been downright rude. And I'd have been here for it. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, what time for... What time... Oh my goodness. English. What time is it there for you? Nils. You look like a Nils. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Central? Okay. Yeah. Same. Same, same, same. Um. The, uh. If you ever do want to catch my. The VODs, uh, not only can you access them now that you're subscribed, uh, you can catch them. A week after I stream them over on my YouTube. Yep, yep, same time. Okay. Oh my goodness! Oh, I feel so bad for it now! Oh. What you looking at? Oh. Well, that's honestly even worse. <laughs> Vaguely, vaguely located in Southern Illinois. So, you know, essential time over here. That poor thing over there. I feel so bad. You know what? I'm going to just. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Hi, buddy. Like, I would, I would much better, ha I would much rather have them stuck in by their horns like that than, uh, moita them with fire. I, like, I still feel bad, but, like, they're kind of cute, so I don't want to kill them, you know? Devlin. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> <laughs> I have the worst yeah. itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button yes. at the very top of your jump? Yes, we've already gotten that one. Well, how did he make that... <laughs> How did he make that cake? <laughs> well, frozen solid. That says thanks, Spyro. Uh, between Iowa and Illinois. Nice. 
Very nice. I hear one of the eggs. One of the eggs that leaves. Come here. Hi, buddy. So there's the return home. We might be neighbors, we might. All right, so we have two more dragons and the egg person. All bulls must be stuck. They're not currently, ah, there's at least one still waiting to get scooped. See a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track <laughs> him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Damn, dude. Alright. These poor things. Just chilling. I genuinely feel so bad for these things. These bulls. Oh, poor things. Come on, get up on the... Fine, don't get up on the thing. Um, I'll get... I'll get here. Oh, do I use the bull? Hey, buddy. Hold on. Sorry. Just gonna... Just gonna use your butt real quick. Uh... Spyro has occasionally said a few lines. Uh, he is voiced by Elijah Wood, thus the Isengard reference in the title. Um, but he doesn't speak much. Okay. Alright, I think I know what I need to do. Damn, that didn't work. Yep. Good old Frodo Baggins. There we go. No! Oh, no! I had that! <laughs> That's funny, Queen, about about the uh, person you know. I'm getting a little winded while being very visibly much more w than just winded. Taking the dragon's twice a god. Oh, that's no, 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 no. Come on. Nah. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do. There we go. Ah! Into the water I go. It sucks. All right. Fire burns the grass. 
even though the grass does regenerate. that way. Alright. Okay. Nope, I messed that up. I pushed the wrong buttons. Right? Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Come on. Charge, jump, glide, and land. All right. Where you go? There you are. Oh, you little. All right, he's now stuck. He's now stuck. Oh, so that's the starting area. Brought me back up here. Okay. All right. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hello. Darkness, my old friend. I feel so bad for these bulls that are stuck in the ground by their horns. Although, to be fair, I've known some people that are like that. <laughs> that was rude. Funny, but rude. Hi, bitch. Come here. Come here, you little fucker. Dang it. Okay. <sighs> I get so close to him. I love the way he bounces. He reminds me of Peppy the Pew when he bounces. With his little... Hopping. All right. All right. The good news is that I'm actually getting pretty good at getting up here. Where? Ah, that's a wall. I have the egg now? I have the egg now. Good, good, good. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bite me, little fucker. Don't want to go over the edge. Anything down the edge? No. Okay, good. And also, this soundtrack is fucking fire. He said while well, shooting fire. Alright, that's the spawn in area. Alright, you guys are upside down. Yeah. How many gems do I need? I am 162 out of 200. Okay. Hi, buddy. Come here. Give one. All right. Touch him. Four. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook in the pause menu. <laughs> All right, so. All right, that's all 200. And so that's all the dragons, that's all, that's the egg, that's all the gems, we are 
technically done here. However, I feel really bad for these things now that I have them all stuck by the uh, by the horns. So I'm just gonna just gonna put them out of their miseries. I did something! <laughs> I feel really bad that they're upside down and I hate killing them, but I feel like that's much more merciful than just leaving them stuck by the horns, you know? I feel so much more merciful. <clears throat> Off-brand Tinkerbell. Goodbye, off-brand Tinkerbell. Still better than Wish.com, Tinkerbell. <laughs> Wish.com, Tinkerbell has a cigarette and a... <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to finish that. <laughs> it's just rude. Alright. Okay. All right. Okay, can I open this door now? For real though. It's probably just it doesn't even look like there's anything behind it, honestly. But still. It just bugs me that there's a door that I can't open. Alright, I've been there. Let us in! Let us in! Alright, I think we have been everywhere. Toasty! Confronting Toasty. All right. Oh, you mean, mean old sheepdog, you. Mean old sheepdog. That was a mean old sheepdog. Yeah. I love that there's a shepherd that looks like exactly like Gandalf. You shall not pass. Oh. So, do I have any... There is one dragon here. And a hundred gems. Okay. Hi, fellas. Oh, damn. I died. All 
All right. Bad dog. I love how their hat lands on their butts. Did you, you little bitch. They're fine, they're in the water. But... Oh man, okay. Gandalf in the wrong universe. It's like they've taken the dragons to eyes and god. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I have regrets. I have regrets. I have regrets. No! I made a mistake. Ow, you little. Okay, I need to actually, because now combat is actually starting to get a bit challenging. I need to actually start using my dodge. Oh, you little. Thought I got you twice. <clears throat> my bad. My bad for making assumptions. Damn. Oh, you fucker, little. About that dodge. No, it didn't happen. <laughs> so about that dodge. Dodge what dodge? I don't have a dodge. I'm more of a forward man myself. Not really. I have no preference on vehiculars. Nope. Nope. Damn it. These are some... One, these are some massive dogs. That or Spyro is actually much smaller than you think he is. You know? Okay, so I have to set them on fire. Good to know. Oh, he's gone. My Sparky's gone. They killed my... No! They killed... They killed my firefly! My dragonfly! I'm slowly making my way there, and then I take like 10 more turns. Alright. Making my way downtown, walking fast, dying because of massive dogs. Die. Oh, no! <sighs> okay, hold on. All right. Here. I see we are at an impasse. I see we are at an impasse. Exactly. Oh, wrong button. Shoot. That was on me. I hit the wrong button. Okay. Now I've made it this far, no further. All right. We are officially further than I have been.
Don't celebrate too soon, nah. Gandalf the Green. Alright. Now, what's this one? Oh no! Regret. Path of regret. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I think the main thing I need to do is stop giving them time to bounce and try to land on me and just fire, just flame. Flame them. All right. Okay. There. Wow, Toasty's a scarecrow. Rescued Nevin. Good old Nevin. Toasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Toasty. Oh, dragons found. All right. Now, the good news is I have a checkpoint, which means anytime I die, I will be right back here. All right. We got to kill the dog first. All right. Toasty. Six more gems. Oh, hello, Bella. Four, five more gems. Oh, no, four more gems. So I missed two gems, apparently. Or four gems, I mean. Either four reds or two greens. Oh, they're probably right here. There we go. I love that Toasty was just a sheep on stilts dressed as a scarecrow. Like, that is one hell of a character design. <laughs> I enjoy it. Clever. One thousand gems. All right. Hello. All right, I need to heal up a bit. You know, poor thing. No problem. Thank you for tuning in for as long as you could. I'm glad you could make it. I th I'm glad you popped in. Um, I hope you have a good night and a good rest of your week. Now I believe we have to go talk to the balloon man. You're fine. I'm not going to hurt you. Little shaking little thing. Wow. I see you've been busy rescuing Dragon Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Let's go. <gasps> Take a trip with the balloonist. Okay. Oh. So, peacekeepers. Scare six norks into ten. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah. Titan. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Yep, that's Elijah Wood making a uh, very specific tone of voice. I can aim them? Well, this changes everything. Canyon. Okay. Wabbits. Wascally wabbits. All right. Hey, thank you for the follow. How to scare. to do scare. There you go. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the follow and thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. How was y'all stream? Hold on just one second while I... Absolutely, absolutely. I appreciate it. How was your stream? Do you have a good time? All right, that's a key chest. Oh, you poor thing. Uh, just a little bit about myself real quick. Actually, I should probably talk a little bit about myself uh, real quick. Hi, everybody. I'm Crimson Knight. I am... Uh... All right. Thank you for the lurk. 
Uh, thank you for the keeping me tabbed and thank you for the lurk. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my stream schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at around 7 p.m. Central to 10 p.m. Central. On uh, And I play a different game series each day of the week. So, like, Monday is Assassin's Creed. Tuesday is Tomb Raider. Wednesday, I'm starting this for the first time. And Friday, we're currently playing through Gotham Knights. Um, so, yeah. Thank you again for the raid. And thank you to everybody else for coming with along with the raid um i hope you have a good rest of your night world is far away and very dangerous maybe if you find 1200 stolen treasure i'll show it to you okay good to know do not step in the dark ego The dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure yeah, to is. keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. It's not that kind of channel, sir. Please, please calm yourself. All right. So that's where the key was. The key, the key chest. There's multiple key chests. Oh, I bet I have to use cannonballs on these. Ah, -ha. clever game is clever. Oh, and there's a target right there. Let's hit that. Come on, let's find that up right. Yeah. All right. The clever game is clever. Who'd have thunk? <clears throat> yeah. I would ask how they tried tricking you, but I don't want any spoilers. Ice cavern. Ice, ice cavern, ice. Never played Spyro before. This is 100% my first time. I missed it the first time around on uh, on PlayStation back in the day, due to reasons. But you know, glad I was able to catch it this time around. All right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Question, if I aim you here, will you automatically fire down? Thank you, uh, thank you, Super Oma for the follow. So it does automatically target. Okay, cool. Like the game is clever or something. Oh, oh I almost didn't make that. All right. Um, we'll go up here. Oh, stay out of the dark eco. Ah! 
Stay out of the dark eco, Spyro. Oh god. Oh no. I said to stay out of the Okay, where were we? I, I killed pretty much all of these guys. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, we have been over there. Music is amazing. Oh, I hear you. Ooh. Man, this game, this game is amazing. And it's making me want to play Jack and Daxter and Banjo Kazooie and Ukulele and all those games that are like that, you know? Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Oh, Elijah Wood. Yeah, like I can see how they're I can see that but like they hit my they hit my OCD just right To try to complete oh. That was on me. They hit my OCD just right to be like no you must do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again All right, I'm just gonna This may not be what's supposed to happen here, but <gasps> <laughs> okay. All right, Spyro. It is chaos for the OCD. Spyro, you and I are going to have a talk here, my guy. We need to make this jump. Please let us make this jump. Ah! Thank you. Thank you. You did good. I need to get over there. Okay. Okay. So that's not Spyro's fault. That's not my fault. That's just, you know, a difficult glide to make. All right. Actually, before we do that, I am going to see if I can't find that chest again. Where was that chest? Hi. Oh, this is where I came in. Okay. Spyro the Small.
Yes, okay. Alright, so that's all of that. Cool. And we got the Peacekeeper thing. Important question is, how do I get from here? There. Go back to there. Can I land on this? I cannot. Oh, I can, sort of. Nope. Okay. I probably could have glided straight through now that I think about it. Oh well. Dry Canyon. Onwards we go. Bring lots of water. Okay, now then. What is my goal here? Four dragons and a lot of that. Okay. Okay, I do not have a, uh, whatchamacallit for Dr. Sh uh, for, uh, Dry Canyon. 
so we're just gonna pop. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Okay, bye. No hints. Okay, bye. Hey, how are you doing? Twitch Jesus. The Lord and Savior has come. Repent! They absolute. Okay, so. They did absolutely update the graphics. But you want to know what they didn't do? Or, no, no. You know what they did absolutely with well updating the graphics? That's exactly the point. It looks exactly how you remember it as a kid, as you played it back then. But if you look at them side by side, you'll be like, holy shit. Like, hold on, let me... Actually, you could probably Google it on your own. Uh, I was gonna pull up a side-by-side -side comparison. But, nah, y'all can look it up on your own. Because I want to play this game. This game is amazing. Oh, that was a wall. Ooh. Hi. No. Fuck off. Oop, they're out of the dark eco. What they didn't do was they didn't turn it into uh, Game of Thrones. You know, they kept the same, they kept the, they passed the vibe check because they kept the same aesthetic. Where I spawn. Yes, this game is absolutely a classic, and like I knew it was back in the day, you know? Like, but like like Howie, I absolutely missed it the first time around um, for, you know, financial reasons. But the, uh, I, I did get to play it a little bit like at the store, you know, how they used to have those con the consoles set up with random games in them that you could play and test out and stuff. When this game, whenever this game was on, it was in the console at uh, Walmart or wherever, I would absolutely uh play it if i got the chance 
Uh, the Queen, who's in Discord, says, uh, the nostalgia is strong with this game, and I love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the uh, There is one thing I will say about this game, though. This game raised the bar for remasters because like whether it's a remake or a remaster technically doesn't really matter because like this is what they should be this is absolutely what they should be this this specific game uh, this version of the game yeah it feels like childhood um, I actually said earlier that I am, um, it makes me very much want to pull out like Jack and Daxter and, and, uh, Banjo-Kazooie and, uh, Ukulele, which also has very much that 90s platformer aesthetic vibe. Um... The fact that Elijah Wood is the frickin' voice actor. Ukulele is a really good game. It's a really good game. Well, honestly, I can see that. I can see why you feel that way. <laughs> because it very much want I can I can see it. It's hard to put words into it, but I can I can see it. Though I disagree, but I see it. Poured hours into it. Yes, uh, it wasn't my first N64 game, but I absolutely played. I absolutely had it. Ha <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh wait, no, I don't have my N64 games here. Actually, Howie. Teddy has my copy of Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie on the N64. <coughs> yeah. She, in fact, she has all my N64 games. And then she has a bunch of her own as well. Jack and Daxter, Crash Bandicoot. Absolutely, Queen. Absolutely. Unfortunately, like Spyro, I missed Crash Bandicoot on the first time around. But they did a remake of that one, too, though I don't know if it's on PC. Let me check, actually. Hold on. Bear with me a second while I quickly check. Yeah, they do. I am adding it to my wish list now. They made essentially like Spyro, they made um Crash Bandicoot. Right, okay, so the thing about ukulele, it was made by the team that made Banjo-Kazooie. Same team. The only, they wanted to make a Banjo-Kazooie 3. They wanted to, but they couldn't get the rights from the original studio. So they made ukulele instead. And because there was some aspects of the 3D platformers that, so the reason why the the controls and camera and stuff feel weird is because they tried to modernize it. Yeah. Um, they tried to modernize it 
while still keeping a balance with the tra with the original. Um, however, they leaned a little too hard into the 3D open world. Um, except what they did for the uh, ukulele 2 was they made the open world a 2D thing, like a top-down 2.5D thing, and then just each individual map was a 3D thing, and that one ran a bit better, in my opinion. Anyway, let's get this glide on. Absolutely. That's everything I've heard about the the Crash thing, the Crash Bandicoot remake or remaster, whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah, I can I, I can feel that. I personally didn't mind, but like I could see how you'd feel that way, you know? Now, with ukulele in the impossible lair, I I actually did something that I'm not too proud of with ukulele in the impossible lair, which is the sequel to the first ukulele game. Um they, the reason it's called the impossible lair is because they literally made the final level impossible to play at to beat um unless you were like severely skilled at the game and everything and like basically to 100% beat the game you have to beat the game you have to beat they they give you two modes, right? They they give you two modes for the final level, and it's impo it's basically impossible layer as they designed it, or impossible layer for babies, you know, for for babies on easy mode, you know, and like of course what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go through the game, collect things that help you beat the impossible layer, and then um and then play it on the easy mode. And that's, yay, you're done, you beat the game. However, they then say, then the game literally looks you in the eye and says, bet you can't beat me on the truly impossible mode. And it was at that point that I, after I beat it on the easy thing, I'm like, yeah, no, I don't take bait. I don't take bets like that. <laughs> so like, technically I have not beaten Ukulele 2, but as far as I'm concerned, I've beaten, <laughs> I've beaten ukulele too, and I'm just like, nah. Yes, that is very their attitude. Hi, fellas. Yeah, and like I've watched playthroughs where people play a beat the thing on impossible on the truly impossible mode And it's just like Nah, man if I want games like that, I would play Dark Souls, you know And like not don't get me wrong Dark Souls is on my list but I have to be in a specific mood for it. Is that you Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh, Absolutely. Ah, uh, I forget. <coughs> okay, I actually missed all of that because I was talking Hi, about Spyro. thinking about ukulele. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh, You've known... Ah, uh, 
I forget. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you little flying chicken. Actually, you know what I just realized? Teddy may not have a copy of my Banjo Tooie. Uh, she may have a copy of it, but she may not have my copy of it. Because now that I think about it, I lent it to a friend, like, God, a decade and a half ago, and never got it back. However, I think I have their copy of Castlevania. Of N64's Castlevania. Oh my god! That guy- I just realized that guy's waving around a fucking- <laughs> One of these vultures. Yeah. Yeah, that happens with, uh, games that are, uh, you know. And, uh, no! 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 Damn it. Um, fair, very fair. Um, what you should do while y'all are there, um, you should have Teddy and Lathan introduce you to the exchange, the exchange. I think you will love it there. Ooh, okay, chicken. Oh, you've been? Yeah, they're not a they're not a they're not a game store technically, they're a media store. Technically. Uh there are game stores uh in the area. You just have to kind of look for them. Come on, let me pick that up. Nice. Yeah, no, I was... I was too uh, messy of a child to, to do that. Uh, Luna. Rixus. I forget which name you prefer. Yeah, yeah, Yvonne told me about that. I didn't even know it existed. Uh, did it, did they, did they do the thing with the cards that you wanted? Shoot, don't fall. Nice! Gotta love it when that happens. Come on, climb, climb, there we go. Nice. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. There we go. Then over there, then over there. Oh, wrong button. Dang it. 
Dang it! where I have to glide from. What's over here? Okay. Stupid. Okay, so I have to get the key and come back. Fine. Oh, no! Dang it. Dang it! How he jumps like Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> boing, boing. All right, so this way takes me that way. This way takes me this way. Have I actually been in here? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I do? Did I did I did I do 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 Actually, you know what? It's almost 10. Um, thank you again for the for the uh, lurk. Uh, 
days we ignore. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. o'clock I'll be wrapping up quickly just wanna I wish I could figure out where that damn he is there's the key so I know where the key is it's right there oh man oh. that would have been a bit too easy I think okay I feel like I almost had that. Okay. Oop, I'm going to the dark eco. I'm so close. I'm doing the right thing. What do you find now?
Nope. doing the same thing over and over and over again. Something, 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 insanity, blah, 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 blah. Come on, honey. Now, now, now. Now. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. No! Uh, okay. There has to be something I'm missing. Oh. I think I know. I, th I, I think I know. I think I see it. I think I see it. I think I see it. I think I know what I need to do now. Alright, so we first do this. Oh, oh, I almost missed. That was bad. That was almost very bad. Now we come out here. There it is. We come out here, and then I do this. Ah! Victorious! Free this dragon. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. Jeez. All right, now we need to get to the chest. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Turn back to, um, I forget the name of the home home place. easy um yeah thank you all for tuning in as i begin my journey through the spyro games um i hope you all have enjoyed this as much as i have um the uh i'm very much looking forward to this uh and continuing this um but uh yeah that's it for me the, for the night 
before we head out be sure to check out melador 219 yvonne b and all these other people i have recommend i have listed up here i have even more recommendations in that link tree below and if you want more spyro content uh days we ignore who rated a uh, bit ago um before melador did um absolutely uh was playing more spyro earlier uh so you should absolutely check them out and give them a follow um and uh yeah uh we'll be back on friday with more gotham nights but until then remember to have empathy be kind be safe love yourselves and love everyone around you and i will see you all next time i love you all peace out